Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with the Fan TV. Back at you another video of the content. If you to go ahead and smash that like button, the content is channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, um, the Ravens do a big thing today. They signed Roquan Smith to a five year, $100 million uh, contract with somewhere between $45 and $60 million guaranteed. Um, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. It's big news for the Ravens. Um, I believe in this contract that there's three sides to the deal. Okay, there's the Ravens side, there's Roquan side, and obviously there's Lamar Jackson, right? So, but first, let's let's start with the Ravens, okay? First of all, when uh, EDC made this trade for Roquan Smith, giving up uh, draft compensation, you know, second round picks, things like that, um, it was very obvious that the Ravens wanted to resign Roquan Smith, okay? Now, and Roquan Smith made it easy on the Ravens by playing well, being a leader, being a you know a Raven as soon as he walked into the building. You know he was that kind of guy, that kind of uh, feel to him. So he made it easy on that end, but. The Ravens were always going to do this deal, um, so it's no surprise there, okay? Um, if it wasn't going to be Roquan, were they going to sign Patrick Queen? You know, who knows? It's kind of up in the air with that. Um, there's a reason that the Ravens felt they needed they had to go in, out and trade for Roquan Smith because of, you know, previously Patrick Queen was underperforming. They wasn't living to the expectation of what we thought he was going to be, right? But we know Queen to be here next year, and then in the year after that, when his fifth-year option, um, it's probably not likely that the Ravens resign him or, or at least extend that option and then resign him after that. I don't see that's likely. Paying and investing that much money into inside linebacker is something that I don't see as completely plausible. You know what I mean? I don't. But the Ravens wanted to get a leader in the middle of defense. They wanted to get somebody who was going to be their Mike linebacker and be stable in the middle of the defense. And that's what they got in Roquan Smith, okay? So from the Ravens' side, it makes 100% sense, all right? It makes all the sense in the world, Okay. And also, let's just talk about it too, right? Uh, I'm going to bring it up in Lamar Jackson's part, but let's talk about it now too. People are going to say, how can you sign Roquan before you sign Lamar Jackson? Simple because his contract is easier to get done, okay? Yes, they are both representing themselves. It's the same scenario. But let's talk about a big, big difference here. Roquan Smith's contract in total, if he earns everything, will be $100 million, okay? Lamar Jackson's, just the guaranteed part of Lamar Jackson's contract is going to be anywhere for 190 and above, 200 million dollars plus and above. All right. So just the guaranteed money Lamar Jackson is going to get is going to be it's going to be way more than the money Roquan Smith is going to get in the entirety of the entire deal. All right. So Roquan Smith's contract was a lot easier. Okay. 45, 60 million dollars guaranteed. It's a lot easier to negotiate. All right. Simple as that. Okay. Also, his cap hit. Right. When you sign these long-term deals, teams like to keep your cap hit low. So that's for at least the last, uh, first two years, excuse me. So next year, I don't think his cap hit is going to be too crazy. It's probably going to be somewhere between 5 and $8 million, okay, which is not that bad. All right, so for the Ravens side, getting this deal done, giving up what you did to get him, and getting this deal done in the manner that they did makes sense. All right. All right, now Roquan. Roquan has been a phenomenal addition since he's been on this team. Um, he's been... Uh, guy that's fit in right away. He he doesn't sound like he's been like a rah rah guy. He he you have seen some clips of him in the middle of the, you know the defense or whatever. You know getting guys pumped up, but he seems like he's been a guy who's just been leading by example and he's been racking up the tackles. All right, you can't deny that since he got here, the Ravens defense has turned the corner. Right now, the counterpoint to that is obviously you could say, well look at the level of competition that they were playing as far as offenses goes, and that's fair. I'm not going to argue with you against that, but I will say there has been a difference since he's been in the middle. Okay. Um, this team is, is flying to the football more. They seem more, um, now listen, they still are not hundred percent trustworthy because they still have to do one thing and that's get that final stop to win a football game. Okay. That's the last thing that Roquan Smith needs to bring to this defense is that final stop to win a football game. Okay. But if we're not talking about that, I like what I've seen from him in the middle of the park on this defense. Okay. In coverage and run defense, he's been excellent since he's been a Baltimore Raven. Okay. Um, I'm happy that they, um, that they signed Roquan Smith, okay? So that's all good news on that front. So I think for Roquan, um, at his side of the deal is the fact that he was at a losing team for the Bears. The Bears are still going to be rebuilding, right? Uh, they weren't going to play an inside linebacker with that kind of money. All right, fair. You know, that's that's their decision. Um, Roquan wanted to go to two things probably, you know. One, a team that's going to pay him, that's probably A, right? You know, hey, listen, the NFL is a business. You want to get the, the most out of your body that you can and that means, you know, who's going to give you the most money in that contract, right? So, A, who's going to pay me, right? And two, can a team that pays me also be a winning team? And I believe that he, with the Baltimore Ravens, he's found a winning franchise. Now, the Ravens have some things that they need to correct and get better at 
So don't hear me say that and be like, oh, yeah, the Ravens are doing everything right. They're not. They need to do a lot better on certain areas, okay? So I think for Roquan, that was a big deal. I think he's gotten both of those things inside of this deal with the Ravens, okay? Uh, stability, uh, winning, and he's got the money. So that's three for three for Roquan Smith right there, okay? So that's a good deal for him, all right? Now, um, the part that everybody wants to talk about, obviously, is the Lamar Jackson side of this deal. I kind of already covered a little bit of it, right? It's just easier to get this deal done. The Ravens have two priorities going into this offseason, okay? And they already handled one of them right now. That was sign Roquan Smith. That was extend Lamar Jackson, okay? And just because they did one before the other doesn't mean that they have a, a Roquan as a higher priority than they had Lamar Jackson. No. It was just an easier and simpler deal to get done, all right? Roquan wanted to be a $100 million, con $100 million linebacker. He wanted to be the only linebacker to make uh, $20 million, you know, per season, Cool, he got that. Like I said, his $100 million deal is the total income of the deal, right? Lamar Jackson's contract is going to be $250 million plus. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be all guaranteed, obviously. But we're talking about a deal that's going to be way bigger than Roquan Smith's deal. Way bigger. Comes with a lot more stuff tied to it, all right? So it was just an easier deal to get done. And also, um, this deal... It clears the way for the Ravens to know how much they will have, so they what they they know, but they can offer Lamar because now they're not trying to do two deals at once. They can turn all their attention to getting Lamar signed. Okay, now another thing, we gotta remember, and we gotta be fair, we gotta be honest here. Lamar Jackson said, "I'm not doing contract negotiations during the season." He said that. Okay, um, if he didn't say that, maybe the contract is done. Maybe it still doesn't get done. I don't know. But we got to be honest, like he said, I'm not talking about the contract during the season. So he shut the window. He shut the door himself. Now, the Ravens should have got it done in the offseason, right? So um, the Ravens aren't free from blame for that. They, they should have got it done in the offseason. But we got to be real. Lamar just said, I'm not negotiating this contract during the season, okay? That's words out of his own mouth, all right? Um, let's see what else I want to say about it. So, yeah, so, you know, listen, this deal with Lamar can still be done. It could still be done. There's still ways to get around it, all right? Um, just because they signed real quarters, meaning they cannot sign Lamar Jackson. To me, their deals are non-related. They're, they're unrelated. They have nothing to do with each other, okay? Um, it's all about whether or not the Ravens and Lamar Jackson can come to an agreement on what, or what's good for the team and what's good for him, all right? Simple as that, and I believe that they can do that. Contract negotiations are tough. They can be lengthy. Um, the Ravens um, have put fans and whatever and a lot of hell this season going through all of this right but the simple fact remains that signing Roquan Smith has nothing has no impact on whether or not Lamar Jackson will be the Ravens quarterback in the future okay in some ways it can help the fact that he will be here all right now the Ravens know exactly how much money they're going to have what they can offer what his cap hit could be year one year two things like that they can iron out those details right all right now, listen, I'm not telling you 100% Lamar Jackson is going to resign. But what I'm telling you is that this real conflict deal today is, is good news. Take it as good news. Don't take it as the fact that, oh, wow, they signed real quarterback before they signed Lamar. Don't take it as that. Just, you know what I mean? The Ravens, like I said, have two priorities. Sign real quarterback and extend Lamar Jackson. They got one of those already done. Now it's just time to extend Lamar, okay? Um, you know, today I was planning on talking about, you know, the Bengals and, you know, everybody talking about, you know, the Ravens doing dirty stuff or whatever. I didn't really see much of it, but um, but the Ravens signed Roquan Smith, I think it's a good deal, okay, for everybody involved, right? Um, and, you know, Lamar Jackson side of the story, I know fans are going to, you know, be up in arms about signing a linebacker before you sign your quarterback, and I get it to a certain extent. I do. Um, but I just wanted to say that this deal doesn't mean that Lamar Jackson won't be a Raven. I'm not telling you that he 100% will be a Raven, but this deal doesn't have any impact on that, okay? Um, it's a good deal for the Ravens. It's a good deal for the defense. Now, I do want to see the Ravens invest in the offense, how they invest in the defense, of course. All right. Um, but just know that this deal doesn't stop them from doing it. All right. Um, so it's, it's good, man. To me, it's a good deal for both sides. And, um, I'm, I'm excited to see what Rob Clemson can do as his future as a Baltimore Raven. All right. Um, and that's it, man. You know, guys, obviously, give me your thoughts in the comments, bro. We'll talk about it there. You know, Roquan Smith is now a Raven long term. Uh, give me your thoughts on it from all three sides that I gave from the Ravens, Roquan, and Lamar side if you want to do that. You know what I mean? But, and we'll talk about it in the comments, man. It's your boy Gabe with another fan TV. I'm out.